Assuming you're chasing a tank, the very first thing you're going to do when you get a chance is put down the magnetic mine on the engine, immobilizing it. So I will not be using the magnetic, chair, the magnetic mine anymore. I'll just consider it as gone from my inventory, and I'll just assume that you put it on the engine. Um, Sherman variants, specifically the long gun Sherman variant, including the Firefly, the ammunition is behind the right side on the front of the hull. Here you have a piece of wood, which is problematic. The bundle charge, if you throw it close, has a chance of getting in between the wood and the metal, uh, which has a 50% probability of knocking out the wood. Uh, if it didn't, then you're fucked. If you throw it at the floor directly, it has a 30% chance of knocking out the wood, in which case, if it didn't, then you're also fucked. So the most efficient way I've found is you stand near, look at the middle piece of wood, back up a bit, throw it, it bounces off, and that's about a 90-100% chance of knocking out the wood. It's almost guaranteed. Next, you're going to hit the, you want to add, you want to hit the ammunition, which is behind the star. So stand far-ish. I recommend the Panzer Shrek since, since it has a flatter trajectory, and you aim either at the bottom or at the center of the star, depending on how far you are. Two hits is enough to knock out the ammo rack entirely, whether or not a fire started. In this case it has. The Sherman Firefly is easier since it doesn't have anything covering the armor. So again, I'm going to assume that you already used your magnetic mine on the engine so that it doesn't move anymore. You can save your uh, bundle charge, Gebraut Alarum, because you don't need it. You just want to stand a bit back and aim it at the bottom or at the center of the, pa of the panel depending on where you are. For the Churchill, it's kind of the same process. You can put your Gebatelarum uh, or Haftkolarum on the engine, so on top, uh, to just kill it, but I'm not going to add that. Uh, it's assume you have already, and the ammunition is actually behind this. Counterintuitively, I would have thought it would be behind this panel, which, you know, you open to show the ammunition side, but it's actually behind these three bolts that make like a rectangle. That's where the ammunition is. That's where you want to aim. Aim at the bottom of it, or at the center of it, depending on your distance. For the Cromwell, things get a bit more difficult. Cromwell's ammunition is actually all in the bottom of the hull, which is covered by tracks and uh, sprockets. This makes it very difficult to actually sneak around inside, and even then it might not actually hit the ammo. For this one and the stag hound, I recommend the component kill. Take out the transmission. The engine, and now you have two opportunities to hit the gun. I have an extra rocket to kill an SP, and the tank is done. Usually, firing at the ammo is enough, but in this case, this fuel tank covers it, and it doesn't go away until you fire a rocket at it, which, uh, by that time, you don't have enough to actually kill the ammo. So, what I would recommend is, assuming that you've caught it, or you haven't, maybe, just fire a rocket at the engine, disable the engine. Sneak, sneak up to the front and place a magnetic mine on the transmission. And 
and using the extra rocket fire at the turret. The engine, transmission, and uh, hopefully the gun barrel or the gun breach. That's a component kill. For the Sherman 75 normal, the short barrel one, the ammunition on the right side has been moved further back, and it's a bit inconsistent on my uh, testing, so I'll just go for the right side. Again, I've assumed that you've placed a magnetic mine or whatever or on the engine just so that it's immobilized. If it's already immobilized, well then, good for you. Stand back a bit and fire at the start. 